Hi everyone, welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 4. Today we are in the 29th episode of this series and we have Pavan here with us who has been recently placed at Verizon as a part of his campus placement at PIT. So he is here to share his interview experience with us. But before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria given for Verizon. All students belonging to CSE and IT branches were eligible provided they had a 70% or a 7 CGPA in their 10th, 12th as well as in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Pavan and understand his experience interviewing for this company. Firstly, welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, uh, so hello everyone, my name is Pavan. So I'm currently studying my fourth year from Bellur Institute of Technology, Amravati. So recently I've got placed in Verizon as a software developer. Uh, I am from CSC AIML specialization and I'm having a CGP of 9.4. Okay. Yeah, this is a short introduction of me. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Uh, you cannot tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Okay, in the interview process, there are actually four rounds. The first round was OER round. Uh, the OA round consisted, consisted of three sections. The first section was technical writing. So they will be given a topic and we need to write it in English and uh, they will be giving some uh, place to write and that's it. So the second section was coding section. So we are given two coding questions. They were actually uh, easy to medium level itself. Uh, they are more on strings and arrays kind of uh, topics. And the third section was English plus a game. Uh, like the game section okay in the english section we have uh, like basic synonyms and antonyms and correct the spellings like that uh, the game section they were given a, a rules before that so based on that we need to solve the problems after that okay uh, after this uh, a few uh, like 75 people were shortlisted for next round okay. the next round was group discussion one uh, yeah group discussion so there we were separated into into separate batch, uh, like seven batches mm, the uh, after that we have technical round technical interview it was around 30 to 35 minutes and the interviewer asked me more on my resume and he was he also given me two coding questions they were very easy like very easy if you have fundamentals in coding you can solve it easily and after that uh, we were called for hr round they were in HR round. There are very basic questions only, basic HR questions. They asked about me, my family, and uh, they asked about the company company also. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. So totally, how many people were selected? Uh. Totally, twenty three people were selected. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the GD round also was elimination round. Were some yeah, th yeah, the GD round also is an elimination round. Okay, so all rounds were eliminatory rounds. Yeah, all rounds were eliminatory. Okay, okay, that's great. Thank you so much for sharing your experience. And yeah. uh, do you have any suggestions for your juniors or for people who are trying to get into good companies? Okay, one suggestion that I would give is focus on your GPA. Uh, GPA. Okay. Also, you need to focus on your skills, but you need to focus on your GPA when you are at VIT. Hmm. Uh, many companies they ask for seven and eight GPA, but the shortlisting happens for people who are above nine. Right. So you need to have at least nine C GPA. Uh, also, I would suggest you to practice coding from second year itself. Hmm. But don't waste your time. Uh, okay, don't waste your time. There are many YouTube channels you can focus and uh, improve your DSS skills as well. Right. Uh, yeah, you need to have good projects in your resume. And you need, to, you need to have complete knowledge on what you do. Mm. Don't just put others' projects and keep in your resume. Mm. So, and uh, you need to be ready for situation situation kind of questions also. The interviewer may ask you different scenarios and he may ask you how the how your project will work. So, you need to be well prepared. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much for sharing your experience and for the suggestions. I'm sure it's going to help many people. And yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you all for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe and let me know which company you would like next.